Hey YouTubers, this is Noah from Elementor. As you can see, I have this page with these four cool and dynamic counters. With every refresh of the page, the numbers go up again. I can give them each their own icons, captions, and styles. With a widget like this, you can display the number of likes, purchases, customers, etc. in an interesting way. To show you, I'll just click on the Edit with Elementor button. Alright, so now I have three counters on this page and I would like to add a fourth one for the members. So first, I'm going to search for the widget and drag it. Alright, and now here I have the content area and the style area. In the content area, I have full control over the counter contents. Let's begin with the starting number, where I could set at which number the counter will begin running. For example, if I insert 50, as you can see, the counter began at 50 and ended at 100. So I'm going to insert 600 and erase the starting number, which means it will start at 0. And now I have the number prefix, where you could set the prefix that will stick throughout the counting. For example, if I insert 1, as you can see, the running numbers are always displayed with a 1 as their prefix. Now, same goes for the suffix. If, for instance, I insert a plus sign, as you can see, it's stuck to the end of the numbers throughout the counting. Okay, I'll erase it. And now for animation duration, which, as it sounds, is the duration in which the animation is displayed. And we have the title, which is actually the caption of every counter here. And I'll just insert members. All right, now that was the content area of the widget. Let's move on to the style area where we have the style options for the number and for the title. Under the number, we have text color. I'll just insert it as pink. And we have typography where I could set as customize. And here I'll just give it a font. And now we'll move on to the title style options where I set the color as white and customize the topography, set its size. Okay, now it looks just the same as the other ones. And now if I open it in a new page, you can see it looks great. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and tutorials, subscribe our YouTube channel or visit us at docs.elementor.com.